In this lesson, let's go ahead and grab one of our old standbys here. Pick up this guy right here and double click. Let's go into directly our filters and go right down to filter gallery. Now the last thing we did was a cutout, which is fine, but let's turn that one off for a second. And I'm going to use my shortcut keys to get that down to a more manageable size, but I want it large enough so I can see some detail. So I'll leave it right about there. Let's change to something else like well, you've got watercolor. Let's go ahead and turn that on so we can see it. And it gives it, depending on what you're doing, a bit of a watercolor effect. Let's try maybe something else, though. Let's go into glass. We like that. We click OK. Now, this is where I tell my students, if you don't like the effect's intensity, you need to do what I'm going to show you right now. Because if you do one more thing to this image, it won't be available. And you come up here to the word edit on the pull down menu and you go down to fade filter gallery. It's been there forever. I can now say, well, you know, I like it, but it's a little bit too much. I need to take some of the intensity off. Now I'll go ahead and cancel. Understand if you do one more thing, come over here, decide you're going to add a levels adjustment layer or whatever. When you go back up to the word edit, it's not there anymore. So it was a very important thing to think through before you did this, because if you needed to do it and lower it, you had to do it right away. Now let's do this. Let's go ahead through the miracle of our history panel, and let's go back to the original image. But this time we're going to work smart again. What we're going to do is we're going to start by going to the word filter and converting it to a smart filter. Let's go down to filter gallery. Let's lower that down a little bit so we can see it. Let's try something else for this one. Let's get down to distorts and go into like sketches. They're pretty intense. And maybe a chalk and charcoal. Let's try that. Click OK. Now you'll notice if I go to the word edit, it's not there. Now the reason it isn't is because we did a smart object. We did a smart filter. Over here, there is an option, and it's right over here next to Filter Gallery. Double click on that button right there. There you go. You've got the mode, you got the opacity. You want a little less of that kind of intensity on this image? You can come over here and lower the opacity. Best of both worlds. Or you could even try a blending mode if that's something you want to experiment with. But the cool thing is, is no matter what you've done to the image, no matter how hard you've worked on it and changed it, anytime you want to, you can now come over here for those fade effects. They'll always be there for you. On to the next.